So, you've now programmed a workpiece in Siemens NX CAM. Very good. But how can we determine whether the geometry we've worked on actually matches what it's supposed to be? Today, we'll take a look at the analysis capabilities within Siemens NX and how they can provide very useful insights. My name is Heinrich Flaum, and I warmly welcome you to the new quick tip from Janus Engineering. Let's take a look at our workpiece now. The Janus block here has already been programmed to this point. I have all the operations here. It's clamped on my grob machine, and now I want to start the NC Tech simulation. Click on Simulate Machine up top. And once the post processor is done creating the NC text, we can then start the simulation with play here. If the simulation here takes too long, you can simply click on stop for a moment. And under simulate settings, make an adjustment to increase the simulation speed. For further information, click on the I in the top right corner to access another video from us. The simulation is now finished, and I can take a closer look at the tool together with you in more detail. So let's get to the initial challenge. How do I know if I've removed too much? Where I still have material left to work on? And in which area I'm in a good position? For that, you can click on Analyze up here. When you do that, the system now takes the target part from the design and the actual part, which is what I've milled here, and overlays them. Using this color scale, I can now see the dimensional differences between the target part and the actual part. These are the default settings of Siemens NX. Let me quickly show you my preferred setup, how I usually like to work in this environment. First of all, I'll reduce the number of ranges down to three in this case. I only want to see three colors displayed here. And what are the three colors? I can set them here now, I'll say. The color gray, should display everything that's still excessively present on my workpiece, including any extra material. Green should highlight the areas where I'm properly aligned and in good condition within the material. And the third color should be red, which means it needs to clearly display any part violations in red. This is the initial setting. The next one here is the min-max limits adjustment. Instead of automatic, I want user-defined here. Just like the divisions, instead of automatic, I'll switch to user-defined. What values should I put in here now? First of all, the initial value can be extremely very high. In my case, I'll just assume 800 millimeters for now. The second value should be 0.2 millimeters. The next value is minus 0.2 millimeters. This means that between plus 0.2 and minus 0.2, the color green should be displayed. Everything above 0.2 up to 800 should be displayed in the color gray. And the minimum range, here as well, minus 800, means that everything in a violation range from minus 0.2 to minus 800 millimeters should be red. If I now click on apply here, then I see my cube displayed here. But what I also observe is that the color gradient here flows smoothly, like a wave transitioning from gray to red. If I now don't want it on Blend anymore but on Sharp, then I can immediately notice a significantly clearer contrast between my regions. What I can also observe is where I might have an excess of material now, so here in this gray area. When I click here, it reveals the difference, which in my case is 2 millimeters. If I click on this planar area, then I have a difference of 0 millimeters here, which is why it's also green. And where do I have something red? In this phase area, I click here once, and then I see that I have a part deviation of about 0.4 millimeters. This results from the chamfer on the hole not being existing in the model, yet I've still programmed a small edge break here, which leads to this minor deviation. If I want to display more than just one color, I can of course increase this number of ranges at any time, for example, to 4. The values I can then work with, let's take a look at the following. I want everything between 800 and 1 millimeter to be displayed. Blue, for instance. 
everything ranging from 1 millimeter to 0 0.2 millimeters should be displayed in green and everything ranging from minus 0 0.2 to minus 800 should just like before be displayed in red if I select this here and click once on apply then I can already see my different dimensions on the part in color. Just like before. The 2 mm are above 1 mm, which is why it's gray. But here in the J of Janus Engineering, I have it marked in blue. If I click here now, I can see that the measurement at this specific point is exactly 0 0.9996 mm. Which color setting do you find the most interesting? Do you perhaps use more than just three colors to better identify and highlight the desired measurement geometries? Let us know in the comments section below. Do you also want to become an NX CAM professional? Take a closer look at our training program. You'll find the link in the video description below. Lastly, all that's left to say is that by clicking the subscribe button, you won't miss any of our future videos. So subscribing is definitely worth it. Oh, and if you've always wanted to know how to set different dimensions at various points during an operation, then I recommend this video here. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye. Let's make it real. Janus Engineering.